Gretchen Carlson was on Brian Kilmeade's radio show talking about her time on Fox and Friends, and the, uh, the topic of clothing came up. Let's watch. Uh, Gretchen Carlson's in, dressed casually. They don't, kinda. wait a Very minute. Nice. Nobody's going to recognize me because not only am I dressed casually, I have on pants. Well, okay? pants. Now, what pants is... were not allowed on Fox and Friends, remember? Yeah, what happened with that? So, I have jeans on, Brian. Welcome, well, welcome to the new Gretchen. Wow, well, look at that. <laughs> are, are you going to be jeans on your show when you start? You just never know. You might be the jean show. He's like amazed. Like, your legs don't exist anymore. Yeah, people wear pants. You wear pants from time to time. So a lot of people are like um, just reporting this as she says they weren't allowed to have pants. Obviously, she's joking. I don't think that there's any official policy against pants. There might be. But it is funny that I, I don't think she's ever worn pants. And certainly the girl on the five who sits on the end, I don't think she's ever Kimberly worn pants. Kimberly Guilfoyle? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it seems like there might not be a policy, but... They don't wear a lot of pants. She seems serious. I don't know. I might be. Really? Maybe I'm missing the joke. I, she sounded like she she meant it. I don't know. I'm and, giving and her the benefit not, of the and, doubt. And just to you know tell you from my personal experience and what I've heard from friends that do work in television, it's not that far fetched to have some sort of TV exec tell you, especially if you're a woman, that you need to look a certain way, dress a, a certain way, suit? be a certain weight. Uh, yeah, I, I can totally I've see heard that. a lot of horror stories. In fact, I have a really, really good friend um, who has like beautiful, naturally curly hair, and uh, she works in television. And recently, she was told, "Look, we'll pay for it. You got to blow that hair out. Like, it can't. You, mm. We can't have that kinky, curly hair on the show." And That's too I, bad. It's ridiculous. Just yeah. let her have her natural hair. Why? Why is that even an issue? But they have a certain image that they want to push, and Fox and Friends. Definitely has some sort of policy. I mean, think about it. Uh, I, they're I think known for you their sexy women and their sexy legs. And their sexy men. Not so much. I don't even know what the men look like. To be and kill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that it can be explained by her understanding that the Fox News audience and the Fox execs want to see a certain thing. Mm -hmm. And she also, look, she wants to do what she thinks is best for her career. She probably wants to feel sexy and look sexy. And so she probably knows that if she shows her legs, it'll do that. Uh, I had to do a little bit of research for this. Apparently, there are people online who are absolutely obsessed with her legs. There are these YouTube videos that are just cut together shots of her legs or upskirts. Uh, so people are into it. There it seems are upskirts? Yeah. That's terrible. She's ca She's got clothing on, but anyway. Um, what do you mean? Like she has panties on? Yeah, I was oh. avoiding saying panties on the air. What's wrong with saying panties on the air? You, you know, there, there's a clip of just you saying panties cut together now. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that it's just her doing what she thinks is best for her career. And to bring it back to TYT, I just wanted to respond to one controversy we had in the past. Uh, on the common room, people were like, oh, they talk about Fox and Friends and the five always wearing skirts, but the girls always wear skirts. You're forcing them on the common room to wear skirts. No, we've never had a conversation about their clothing at all, let alone telling them what they can or cannot wear. Yeah, I can't imagine. Chelsea constantly wears pants. I can't imagine anyone at TYT telling me what I can and can't wear. Can you it's imagine? It's never happened. You or Arena, what, or, or Kim even, what would happen? If, some, if one of you men told us what we should and shouldn't wear, <laughs> yeah, we would be livid. It, uh -huh. just, it just doesn't go down at TYT because we're supposed to keep it real. Like that's the biggest perk and benefit of working here. We work with great progressive people that don't care what you're wearing as long as you're you know, being honest and, and real in your commentary and your analysis. Yeah. So. That said, you look lovely today. Well, thank you. Yeah.